Enode bees are mounted oh, up on that grain elevator, elevator on okay. the far uh, far west side, which is this side, up on the little leg that goes up at the very top. And yeah. how high are they? About 150? 180. Right now it's at a 21 CINR. It'll get better here on the next update. Okay. Yeah, 22 CINR. MCS is 28 on the download and 10 on the upload. 26 CINR with a 27 MCS on download and a 12 MCS on upload. Okay, what's MCS? Um, that's basically the, uh, what does that stand for, Dad? Do you remember the term for MCS? It's the coding level, yeah. it's basically the over the air rate. So it would be like MCS, you know, 15 is like 300 megabit or something, you know, whatever it is. Um, I'd have to look it up. Okay. And it, it basically, the higher your MCS level is, the faster over the air rate, which means the faster your tests are going to be here. Gotcha. Let's see, so I'm going to fire up another test. And of course, this is, you know, we're not very far. We're half a mile or so from it. Speed test is looking pretty good. Yep, speed test is running about 67 right now, and it's going up 68. See if I can hold it steady here. That's one problem when you're looking away and you move. So that one got 62 by 4.5. Okay. So 29 millisecond ping and that. Clear line of sight. Half, yeah, half mile away. away or so. Yeah. And and really the metal of the, the metal here could be messing with it a little bit. I mean there's so many different things, you know, when you're installing in a house you're there's 26. Let's see going up actually here. See, all I did was go up about another half oh, a yeah. foot wow. above the roof of the so the, 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 the metal of the roof of the truck and everything. So there's 80 megs, almost 80, 79 point. Yep, so it hit 79.8 and it ended up at 78.85, but it pretty much I'd say right at 80 megs there and then the upload should be a little bit better as well we're up higher six to seven it looks like yep and if you change it to a one to one ratio you can get over nine nine and a half uh, but your download decreases by quite a bit um, yeah you, right. you know you, you lose quite a bit of your download to get that extra upload so. the sim card out on the one you were just using uh -huh. yeah so between, uh, between right at the tower, out to between three and four miles, I found between the Telerad 7000 UE and uh, the base cell UE um, that they are pretty much nick and nick. Now the, the 7000 has a little bit higher gain, so I usually have one to two CINR better on the 7000, and that's a, because it's got a little more gain. It's on a 16 it. instead of 11. Yeah, right. And, and so there's the difference there. Speed-wise, they are usually within one megabit of each other to a meg and a half difference, and I think that's solely because the CINR is just a little bit better on the, on the Telerad 7000 unit. Uh, now, the interesting thing where it really shines the base cell UV really shines when I start to get some tree penetration. Now, all of a sudden, the 7000, he won't either connect at all, or uh, he'll connect but have really low CINR of 4 or 5, and the base cell will be at a 10 CINR and have no problem connecting, uh, and speeds are great. So I, I think the, um, 
the wider beam of the UE, of the base cell UE, is making a big difference getting through the trees. Now, the di now, now let's talk about going out like eight miles. Eight miles, fairly good line of sight. The 7000 now has higher gain and has a better CINR than the, uh, than the base cell UE. So it's kind of where you're going to be as to what device you want to use. So that's why I'm excited about this this new one is because now I got the gain or more gain um, than the uh, 7000 and I can do those distances. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how it performs with uh, Did the we trees. connect? Um, and what was the deal over on 34th and Coulter when you were in that parking lot? Which one would connect which way? Do you remember the... Um, yeah, the... Um, you couldn't connect to the, the Bay I, Station. I couldn't connect to the Bay SL with the Telerad uh, UE. Let me think, how did that work now? So the Telerad UE would not connect to the Bay SL or the, um, the Telerad. or the Telerad UE, yeah. but the uh, 11 dB Bay SL UE had no had no problem connecting to the Telerad ENOB, but wouldn't connect to the Bay SL. Right. But that was extreme tree coverage. There's some metal buildings kind of in the way, and I only had a, a zero to one. And how far out were you? Um, I think yeah, between yeah, about four miles. But, but I could only get a zero to one CINR. Yeah. So it was like ultimate worst case testing. So it was like the, the Telerac base station was performing a little bit better, but the, the wider beam width or maybe the fatter beam width of the, of the base LUE was kind of, it helped. So that, that really tight it beam width. push it through the trees. I think so. So I don't know. I mean. So Matt, you got the 19 dB. That, that came from Wisp America. I have no idea what firmware it has okay. on it. Uh, I don't I, think it, it is booting, but I haven't seen it actually uh, connect yet, because it's still saying it's searching. So let me get the SIM so card we've got, out. Um, uh, we, we're doing some, uh, those big dishes back there, those are, uh, those are designed for, um, you know, any kind of a, a 365 radio that has output ports. So right now we've got the 7000 Telerad that we can connect to those big ones for, for much higher on gain. Back, on the far back side there is, is the, and the top shelf there is uh, the, all the, the radios we got from you guys. You know, test with. The buy sells for me. Mm -hmm. But just the boxes, you mean? Yeah, just the boxes at this yeah. point, yeah. Keeping everything. And then um, we've got um, Ubiquity stations here, all the parts built out for Ubiquity radios, routers. And then this is all mostly tower equipment. We'll put some more on the mostly stuff, but we've got tower equipment that comes down that we try to recycle as much as we can. And we have brand new tower equipment. With rocket dishes and then this is a station where they kind of they they'll build they'll get some stuff together um put things together here and um, oh we just um we have the dude up here running at all times keeping track of any kind of failures problems the map the network map and uh, that way the guy sitting here can look up and see if something goes yellow or red or you know some kind of a problem like over here we've got a red dot so uh, something going on over there so you can see here that's probably the red dot and uh that uh, way we can keep track of things a little quicker yeah. and the guys can see without, you know, customers calling in and telling us there's a problem. <laughs> That's always good. Be on top of things before the customers tell you. And this one, we'll, we'll get up. Uh, we have cacti, so we'll start running some cacti stuff. Winner and Matt Carpenter from Amarillo Wireless. Hello. They are trial operators for our Bicell's LTE equipment. Tell us a little bit about the, uh, the equipment and what you think of it so far. And and uh, what you're looking at to for us to improve on? I think for me, it's, I'm just excited to see you know a lower cost alternative to an LTE solution, um, and seeing this market kind of become you know a little more fluid and evolving. So um, just like we were talking as a truck a minute ago, competition's good; it drives innovation, and, and I, you know we're we're excited to be kind of on the leading edge of that. So and I've done a lot of testing. Uh, with another LTE provider and this one, and, and I'm very excited about the uh, results that I'm seeing and excited about getting some production equipment out, not just driving around testing it. So, obviously, there's little things here and there that need to be improved, um, and uh, that's something I've been communicating a lot of information back to back to them about. So, and uh, every couple of weeks we get an update, so they're very fast at getting things back to us. And your equipment was prototype equipment; it's it's mm -hmm. not the full production equipment. It was prototype equipment. And you saw a picture earlier of the Enode B form factor mm -hmm. 
now compared to the one you have. It's much, much smaller. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to exchange, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, but uh, yeah, we've got ours up and running, and, and it's working really well. And side by side testing with some other equipment, it's 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 definitely holding its own. Yeah. Plugged it in, it just comes up and starts working. So it, it contacts the cloud right away, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And it really was plug and play. I mean, yeah, yeah, pretty much. So. I am very excited about getting it moved out to a tower for its permanent home and getting some customers on it and get the ball rolling. And some 19 and a half DBI antennas. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, you just tested with the 11 yeah, DB. Yeah, and the 11 DB really shine. I mean, I was I was very very impressed at, at how well it did tree penetration on the 11. So now I'm going to test the 19 and a half and see if the tree penetration is is as good as it was with the 11. Um, it's going to be kind of a toss-up. Uh, with a tighter beam, it may not get through the tree leaves as well than they did with the 11 dB with the wider beam. So we'll, it's, it'll be a great But may get more distance. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, but definitely we'll more distance. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's why you have different models of CPEs for mm -hmm. different scenarios and so what forth. You need. Yeah. yeah. So if I'm, if I'm 8 to 9 or 10 miles out, I definitely want the 19 and a half mm -hmm. because more likely I've got line of sight at that point. Yeah. Which we have an, an advantage here because there's hardly any trees <laughs> outside of town. Well, thanks both of you for the tour today. You guys got an awesome facility and, and operation, and I'm very, very impressed. Thank you. The, the kind of growth you guys have had in the last four years is just pretty amazing. So keep up the good work, and thanks for lunch. And